Hi, beautiful lovelies. Welcome to Sleeved Mel 2015 and happy surge anniversary to me. Two years post up July 2nd. I'm a few days late, but I've been quite the busy bee. If you see my other channel, you can see why. We were on vacation, we've been doing all sorts of summer stuff, but it has been two years post up. Back in 2015, on July 2nd, I went to Tijuana, Mexico, and I had the gastric sleeve surgery. It was probably one of the best decisions I had ever made in my whole entire life. I, my life has completely changed, and I do not regret it. I think the only regret I have is not doing it sooner. I was a miserable person being as heavy set as I was and just so depressed and all these things that came with it just I was not a happy person I was not happy with me myself and I so um so I my highest weight was 245 and I started my journey with the looking into surgery about 220 uh, and I my surgery date was 208 208 and I am still down to 130 I'd be saved anywhere between 136 to 140 I range between those four pounds every single day I weigh myself still to this day every single day uh, I keep myself accountable because if any time at any time because I'm in that maintenance phase right now um, I'm not you know trying to lose any more weight I would wouldn't mind going down to like 130 but I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm completely happy being at 135 to 140. But I do weigh myself every day. So if I ever get up to the point of 140, and if I go any higher than that, then I know I need to get myself a little bit more strict and try to eat a little bit more protein. Because sometimes I do slide off and I eat pies and cakes. I don't eat like abundance amounts. I eat little tiny pieces. My stomach can't handle a lot, which is great because it's a force controlled diet. It's forced on me. And because it's a forced diet that my stomach has rejected certain foods that I have learned a whole completely new lifestyle that even now that I can't I, tr I try to eat junk food and it just messes me up and I'm so grateful that my sleeve just d decides to reject a lot of things and I choose not to eat certain things and I choose to stay, stay away from certain things. So what am I eating now? I am absolutely obsessed with mushrooms. I don't know if I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but I, if I haven't, um, and if I have, I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat myself, but uh, I... Cho uh, I used to hate mushrooms, absolutely hate mushrooms, and now I have this obsession with mushrooms, and I um, saute them in butter practically every day, and I go, and I spend a lot of money on mushrooms, I do, sauteed mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms, I got all sorts of recipes on mushrooms, and I couldn't eat them whether they're raw or on a pizza or even with a pizza I don't eat the crust I just eat the cheese and mushrooms off a of pizza and that's about it and I can only eat one slice of cheese of a pizza and then I'm full my restriction is still amazing there are times when it's the time of the month I know that's TMI but when it's the time of the month for me I I actually eat a whole lot more I notice that it's somehow the hormones it feels like I don't understand how it works because it's like the hormones just change my whole appetite and I feel like I can eat a whole lot more than I can normally eat usually I can eat about this much and be full I'd say about three to four ounces at most I can be full my restriction is absolutely amazing my stomach is still small sometimes I feel like I eat more and I'm like oh my god am I stretching my stomach I still have that fear to this day that I'm going to stretch my stomach so because of that fear that still keeps me uh, in mentally restricting myself not only does my stomach restrict me but I'm also restricting myself going I know my limits I burp and I get air in my stomach and that is probably one of the number one um, ordeals and I do this big hiccup to know and know the sign that my stomach is full so I'll be like oh that's a sign my stomach's full I can't eat anymore and I put the food down 
the thing I love about gastric sleeve surgery is the gastric sleeve is that it is a portion control so I can still get my vitamins I can still get my uh, you know um, protein and I can still absorb medicines and vitamins and stuff so I'm actually completely off on all medication and so congratulations to me I don't have to take any type of medication I do take Tylenol but that's part of probably the only Tylenol when I have to when I absolutely have to like when I'm in so much pain from cramping here's the ordeal we're gonna talk about this um, I may end up getting a hysterectomy hysterectomy my periods have gotten so much worse after surgery and they're so painful they were already bad before surgery but they were so they're so much more painful now than they used to be so I actually want to go to the emergency room sometimes and the the and I'm sorry if guys are watching this but the blood flow is actually extremely harsh you can just call me Miss Niagara Falls so I am actually going to be going to see my doctor and we're going to be talking about getting a hysterectomy we have decided that we're not going to have any more kids after our whole ordeal I'm actually afraid to have any more kids um, we have a life where it's completely changed now everything is completely changed after my son's passing so um, I've decided and it's probably going to be very emotional for me to do this procedure but I've decided that I'm not going to have any more kids and my periods are absolutely horrendous I cannot tell you over and over again that I'm doubled over in pain I'm uh, it, I bleed too much it's just way 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 too much on my body and I cannot handle the pain the severe pain that I have to endure um, during those times and so long talks with uh, my husband and we both come to an agreement that this is the right decision for me and uh, I understand the consequences of it and I'm gonna go full board on it so that'll be something I'll be talking down and going over with you guys in the near future about hysterectomies um, I'm okay with it right now so back on track my eating habits, my restriction still good two years post-op. I'm eating tons and tons of protein and mushrooms. I'm still eating Power Crunch proteins. I'm still drinking protein drinks, which is Premier Protein chocolate. Um, I don't drink them as often because I like to get more food type of protein instead of liquid. Now, when I want to lose weight, I go back on my liquid proteins. That helps me kind of drop the pounds a little bit. And... Um, because I'm still high protein, I do add a little bit of greasy food in there somewhere because the, the balance of that little bit of greasy food actually helps me go. Also, coffee with sugar in it. Once a day, every morning, I have coffee with sugar in it and that helps keep me um, going every day. You have no idea. Coffee makes me poop. And that makes a lot of people poop. And so I don't have a problem with constipation 99.9% .9 of the time. I have a regular bowel system. I know this is like a TMI post, I guess. This is like a total TMI video. So um, I just wanted to come by and say hello to everybody. There have been stories just recently coming up saying how much um, my story has inspired many people. And I just it feel so inspired to come back on. And I... Thank you so much for telling me these stories that my life can impact somebody else's life. And that's a, one of the number one reasons why I documented my journey is because what if my journey can help somebody else? And it has. And I'm part of these groups that people go, oh my gosh, I've watched all your videos and you've changed my life. And thank you so much for uh, for uh, make, helping me make that decision. So it is... Uh, because of you I continue on doing these videos even though I don't do them often and I'm not consistent but it's because of you I'm still here and I appreciate it I'm gonna show you a real quick uh, body image of what my skin is like and then I'm gonna say goodbye before my camera decides to it wants to shut off again because it's already shut off once in the middle of me talking so I'm gonna do a real quick body image um, and I'll show you the before pictures and after pictures as well but um, I do drink this too, you guys. 
this is kind of a little bit of impacted of sugar and carbohydrates um, but I only drink like one glass a day water down with ice but this is probably one of my favorite drinks I can drink but I'm two years post-op so my sugar and carbohydrates are balanced now and I stay balance at a maintained weight and I can add a little bit of sugar and carbohydrates to my diet now I do not recommend sugary and carbohydrate drinks at the beginning of your journey you wait till your body is set into its mode and where you can maintain your weight so here's uh, I got some here's my legs so I do have skin but it's not a lot of skin and then here's my stomach I have a little bit of skin on my stomach and then I'm wearing a bathing suit, so you'll be, I'll be able to show you, because I went swimming today, I'll be able to show you a little bit of how my breasts are. <laughs> so they are, they are, they aren't like sagging so bad, they're still pretty decent shape. My butt is sagging, I have a saggy butt. But, um, I'm, and then, then I have this. However, I am pretty happy Overall, I'm actually really happy with my body. I am not ashamed to be in a bathing suit and go to the swimming pool like I did today. I walked around and strut my stuff even though I had some shaking skin. I didn't care. I was I was so I have so much more confidence now. Before I had no confidence and I would just cover my whole body in t-shirts and shorts and I would swim with t-shirts and shorts on because I just did not want to swim in a bathing suit alone. So I was really I was really really happy that this was kind of like the first summer I'm actually able to um, be at a swimming pool and not worry or not even care about what other people thought because I felt good about myself I, that it was it's more about feeling good about yourself and feeling confident in you and so it's like I said in many many videos past that it's all a mindset it is a mindset you have to work here otherwise it's not gonna work I've gone through some severe stress with the loss of my child to um, so many other stresses in my life that I am not using food as an excuse anymore. I'm not. And I just remember how stressed I was and I would use my food as a comforting ordeal, as a, a, a comfort to feel better. And now I'm using the gym. I mean, this past month has been kind of bleh with the gym, but I usually go three to four days a week. I do a lot of weights and I'm going to record a video for you guys of my gym um, workout. I need, I just need to find a spot and time at the gym where it's not so busy and I'm not recording a bunch of faces behind me staring at me while I'm videoing. So um, I do want to show you my regimen that I do at, uh, at the gym. I do a lot of weights. I do way more weights than I do cardio. When I do cardio, it's actually like taking a walk outside here or go swimming or doing something like that. But I'm working on him. I'm working on the puppy. So I still have skin, but I've got, I've got muscles there, you guys. <laughs> so I'm really actually happy that this is happening. I've kind of been toning them out. As you can see, I'm toning them out with the weights. I do a lot of bicep curls and butterflies and triceps. I work less on the legs, but I still do squats. I want to lift my butt up a little bit, so I do a lot of squats. So I am working out. I'm getting high protein. I don't eat... Um, uh, bread, pasta, or rice. I have low sugar and low carbohydrates in my diet. I still eat them. I just don't eat a lot of them. And I do a lot of fruits and veggies in my diet. It's, it, anybody can do this diet, and I wish I had the discipline beforehand, the surgery, but however, I am extremely happy with how things are going after my surgery, and I am so happy. So I hope that maybe if you had gotten a surgery, no matter what surgery it is, that I can inspire you to, to get out. If you are at a stall, go back on a liquid diet for a week, a couple of days, even three days liquid diet, and then build back on your proteins and get back to where you were when you first had your surgery. That is the best way to break a stall. I'm probably going to be at 135, 140 the rest of my life. So anyway, the time is going on. I've been talking a lot. My camera is about to burn out because the battery is saying it's too hot. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, thumbs up. Make sure you press the red subscribe button for more weight loss surgery tips and tricks and my journey and my story. This is my story that I love to document about my life. I want to hear about you. How are you having surgery? Let me know your story. I want to hear about you. I do read the comments and I try to answer back as much as I can. And I also do daily vlogs every day at Mom's Vlog 80 
on YouTube. We are daily vloggers with my family, so come on over there and check us out there, and you can watch my whole life every day. Told you my camera was going to die, so I'm going to say goodbye. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao. Bye.